What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome back again, I'm your boy with this Adam Slink. Welcome back to another crazy video. Please try as much as possible to support your boy. Like this video, comment, share it on all social media platforms. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Slink Media. Make sure you subscribe, then click that bell notification to get updated anytime I upload. So that without further ado, let's jump right into the topic. Let's talk about P Square. So on Wednesday, they celebrated their birthday separately. And of course, so many people came to wish them happy birthday as twins. And people were not really, really happy that they are fighting, that up to now they have not been made up. So, one of their wives, that is Peter Okoye's wife, decided to send a very, what I think is an unarmed food uh, post on his Instagram, on, oh, sorry, on her Instagram. And she said, this is what she wrote. She said, hmm, to the twins, Peter, P Square, and Root Boy. Whether you like it or not, you are brothers. You are not only brothers, you are twins. I wish you both a happy birthday. Life is short. Make the best of it. Respect and love should be reciprocal. As we get older, we should realize that life is precious and time wait for no one. That's what she just said. For me, I don't think that's harmful. But a few hours later, Root Boy immediately responded saying, Root Boy has no filter at all. At the age of almost 50, you still think you can still be manipulative and always trying to be in control as usual. Well, I'm not the, I'm not there anymore. Jude also is not there anymore, which was exactly how you wanted it. Auntie, for four years we haven't spoken, but every hit of November, you will come out as user to type shit and they hand up saying oh she's a good woman me why they don't know the evil things that you have done behind closed doors while while in the outside you are trying to portray an angel anyway it's social media era what do i expect next year will come again you will still come and type ish you know me very well and you know I don't pretend. So continue doing what you are doing. You don't cast finish already. No need to expose you. That's why I never said anything because it's family. Let your beauty deal with you. He sent it out and of course, I bet that uh, Peter Koye's wife saw it. Nobody actually spoke anything, but a lot of fans were not really happy about it. They were like, okay, Good boy don't have any filter like you should have come for your brother's wife like that you should have come to you for your brother's wife like that so good boy didn't stop there he said okay you guys think like you guys think like i insulted my brother's wife then he said no disrespect wait till someone disrespect your parent just stop posting me and tagging me i hate pretenders I don't post you. That's what she said. I was thinking that Peter Koye, the other twin, that his wife was insulted by by Root Boy, would at least come for his wife rescue, like shade his wife. But he didn't say anything, he just kept quiet. Well, I really, really understand it because I know if he come out to say I'm think everything will just last again and they will see have another quarrel all over again so i respect and i like the way peter koye never responded to it and it seems like everything is not getting clearer those guys were cool p square were so cool with each other until women came inside p square were so cool with each other we enjoyed their music despite the sharing formula they were sharing equally among their theory. Their brother being the manager, the two twins being the twins being the singers. They were cool with that sharing formula, sharing things equally. So women came, came into the picture, and the women start saying, maybe they are the women. With <laughs> maybe Peter Okoye's wife was telling him that guy, a manager cannot be taking equal, 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 equal payment with you now. Where is that done? All those kind of stuff because that is the basis why Peter Okoye is angry. He is angry because Judo Koye keeps taking the same percentage that him and uh, Root Boy are taking. 
that is not possible anywhere. He is the manager. He's supposed to take 10%. That is the quarrel that Peter Koye, Peter, Peter Koye has with Paul Koye. That's the only thing. In fact, sorry, Peter Koye said he doesn't have issue with Paul. That the person he has issue with is Jude. Jude, the manager, the head of brother. People, guys, I see hope that they all come together, squash this old issue. I don't want them fighting at all. And uh, also, guys, uh, of course, let's talk about Davido and uh, Whiskey. Davido was asked a question recently. He was asked by one uh, journalist, I don't know. The person asked him is that between him himself, Whiskey, and Bonaboy, who is the biggest in Africa? Davido, before we head out of here, I gotta ask you. We got Davido, Wizkid, Burna Boy. Who is the bigger artist globally, in your opinion? Mayoko. His name is Mayoko. M A Y O R K U N. Of Lele, of Lele, Le, of Lagos. That's the hey. biggest. Okay. Well, uh, definitely that girl wasn't expecting to get that kind of response from uh, from uh, David at all. You can see she was even shocked. Like, come on, I'm asking you a question and you'll be like, me or cool. Who is me or cool? I think that's what she was uh, thinking about. And uh, also, guys, uh, Olamide also spoke about this uh, P Square. Somebody asked him, he said, Baba, be the one to get whiskey. Sorry, I said P Square, sorry, whiskey, not David. Somebody asked Olamide, saying that the person asked him, say, Baba, be the one to get whiskey and David one a song, I beg. Then Olamide responded, said, uh, Them go be, them go do all right, low. Two of them get choco. But trust me, they are both amazing beings. So this guy is saying that, please, can you get David Doe and Whiskey to do a collaboration in one song with you? But, you know, that is like almost impossible. And uh, MRI almost ran into trouble after she didn't pick David Doe as one of our favorite artists. This is what she said. Just in case we're wondering, my favorite artists are Techno, Wandy, and Starboy, they for you. Any question that somebody says, say, Wahala for who no like OBU. Then she said, I love him. I was naming my favorite. Yes, you can love somebody and that person is not your favorite uh, people, uh, person. That is just how it is. People have favorite. See? It is okay to choose. It is okay to choose. I don't see problem in saying that, oh, okay, I like this much more better than this. Meanwhile, uh, again, I wish I have friends like this. Everybody should be wishing they have this kind of friends. A Hollywood actor, George Clooney. This guy single handedly gave 14 million naira. F sorry, 14 million US dollars. Sorry, I said naira. 14 million US dollars. To his 14 friends, each, each of them he gave them one, one million you one million US dollar each. And his and his uh excuse is that see, he has been around the world, he has seen a lot of things, and he said to himself, What can I do for my friends who have assisted me over the years to achieve what I've achieved? 14 friends, so he said, What can he do? To his 40 friends who have helped him to achieve what he has achieved over the years. Then he decided, okay, I cannot buy them gift. Let me give them one million dollar each. One million dollars in uh, official exchange rate of Nigeria is 380 million naira. Then black market is 475 million naira. Imagine giving somebody 435 million naira each to 14 persons, man. Th th these are the kind of friends I have. I'll be assisting a lot of people to get to where they are getting to. Please, if you succeed, please don't forget me. Eh? Try. It will do is 1 million naira. I will manage them. Eh? Some people actually don't need a lot of gift. Just give them that money. I'm telling you, it's going to mean a lot to them. 
Ah, uh, I mean, why? Look at this video. This woman beat up her daughter, her teenage daughter, her secondary school girl daughter. Let me just read it. it Say, uh, child abuse. A girl just came to a school I work now with all these bruises. This child abuse. Apparently, her mom saw her with a guy and decided beating her like an animal is the best way to correct her mother indeed i don't want to talk about this i don't want to like i don't want to have an opinion this lady this little girl is a teenager let me say jesus one jesus two so her mother caught her with her boyfriend then her mother decided to descend on her is she right or wrong we'll leave your comment below guys and uh, to conclude this video a father of a little girl who was abducted four years ago sent a touching letter to the little girl the girl has not been found yet up to this day uh what she wrote is very disheartening he said today 19 november four years has passed since a beautiful jewel was taken away adopted from me since your adoption four years ago life has never been the same my world has been on a standstill every day i wear a share full face but right inside me is pain anguish and midnight sea of tears the pain of an adopted child is far greater than a dead one kajija the day of your adoption your mommy went into shock and the following day your brother was delivered through cs for four years i have never celebrated his birthday because the pain of 19 november is greater than the joy of the 20th as i remember you today my lovely daughter i pray to allah to guide and protect you where you are come on man this is so sad this little girl was adopted for four years now and the day she was adopted her mom gave birth to their to her brother on the 19th sorry on the 20th she was adopted 19 and her mom gave birth on the 20th through years because she went into shock so guys i thank you for watching it's your boy again adam sling please before you go try as much as possible to check out this movie that's coming out on the 27th november 2020 the name of the movie is called oslo from lagos to oslo all the information the description everything about the movie the link to watch the trailer on youtube is uh in the description below so have a wonderful day guys and don't forget to catch up with me in my other videos bye